Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome to Call of Duty, the original from Activision. I'm not sure when, that was quite a few years ago now. Um, 2003 it says on the back of the box. I thought we'd uh, revisit this, this classic old game. This was uh, probably the first, clearly the first of the Call of Duty line, but it was the first one where you could really zoom down the uh, the the, the cross uh, hairs of your, of your gun when you're um, looking to make some accurate shots uh, and it really was a step forward from from the shooters of the day such as uh, Medal of Honor so I've just fired it up um, and started a new game and we're basically at the training camp so we'll just click to uh, start basic training All right, okay. listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Okay. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Okay. Sign one, use grenades to flush out hard points. Attack, attack, attack. Move together as a team. Don't make the same mistake, always move from cover to cover. Always reload before going into battle and Good. suppress then now flank. Where is he gone? There you that your current objective is highlighted. Approach the sign indicated on the compass. Your objective is marked by the star on your compass. Awesome. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. Yes. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Okay. Go, go, go. All right. Uh that's the obstacle course. Where is the gate over here? Obstacle course. Martin, good to see you. Oh, Elder. They got your story, but this here is too, not huh? your Aunt Fanny's dance. Jump over him. Come on, Elder. Get the lead out. Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Come on, guys. Sergeant, open that. fire up those machine guns. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's weapons training. Okay, well that was quite easy. Eyes up, Private. Right here. I'm up here in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. Okay. M1M. Uh, what do you got? F to pick up. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type. So, but to look down the top, the, fence, the aiming eyes, you just use the right mouse button. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Okay. Two. Fire six more rounds at your target in different stances, and while moving, you will be more accurate while not moving, and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. When your magazine is empty, the weapon will reload automatically. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Which is here? Yeah. Grab up a Springfield rifle. Oh, sniper rifle. Switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left. Move to the fence and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right. I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Okay, she's going well. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson ah, Thompson machine, machine guns. Woo! Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons. Besides your side. Pick up Thompson, hit the target ten times. Then aiming down the gun sight. Prepare your accuracy. Get Take a few steps aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. Quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Okay. Fight with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are, ugly, on you that each weapon is very different than you, weapon. And you could buy the farm. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. 
Okay, that was relatively simple. What's next? Ah, frag grenades. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire. Find the concrete post and lean out to the left and then the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. There we go, that one. Right, private, move on to the next area. Ah, first aid. Remember, private, if you get hurt, it. grab one of those health kits and use it. Okay, okay. They will save your life. Ooh, Our TNT. Our will be explosives. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This oh, will yeah. tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown Ooh. off. Is that all? Go through Good the last job, gate. Private. Okay. Well, I think that's training over. With you and clean. Fantastic. Well, that was relatively easy. You know, right, let's go on to um, mission one. Well, mission one proper, should I say. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings, linking Utah and Omaha Beach, and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Okay. So just wait for the load up. Looks like um, we are going to be the pathfinder to set up the um, homing signal for the, the rest of the airdrop. So um, no pressure. All right. Objectives. Link up with Sergeant Heath. Oh, missed. Mm, so much in there. Okay, let's proceed. Oops. So I've got a, a carbine and a Thompson. This is Sergeant Ethan, is it? I think it's leg back, okay. Drick. Oh god, he's staring at me. Um, oh, do we want a, an M1 Grand? Garand. Garand. Gar I don't know. M1. Um, yeah. Let's have the, uh, no, let's have the carbine. There's a gym bunker over there. I think he probably um, came down and they uh, shot him. Oh, hit off his knee. Uh, 
Uh, how do I stand up? Oh, yeah. Oh, chilling music. Okay, lorry. Uh, this is obviously where we got to put the uh, the homing signal. Oh, it's a half track over there. Let's get behind the wall. Oh, the alarm's going off. Ah, here, here are our friends. Right, McCalloway. Okay. Whoa, hello, whoa, 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 whoa. God, it's all kicking off now, isn't it? Right, let's, um. God, oh god, look, they're in the, uh. Oh, who is this? Ah, uh, you didn't make it, sadly. Right, let's. Let's get to this wall. Right, switch to the uh, Thompson to um, clear out the building. Uh, building's on fire, okay. Okay, good, good work boys, good work. Oh. Whoa! Grenade! Look at the boys. Ah, oh dear. It's not going particularly well. It's a bit high casualty rate, isn't it? Let's clear upstairs. God. Uh, hang on, where am I? Oh, there's a lorry load of... Uh, German troops turned up. Uh, okay. So the Salzman looks a little bit worried. What's going on? Oh. And Taro, you don't look particularly healthy, mate. Uh, there's, a, there's a health pack over there. Go and get that. Whoa! Jesus Christ. That <laughs> scared the life out of me. Oh, I'm just going to get that health pack. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, then, boys. Come on, how'd you go? Move, boys, come on, come on. I need to get the health pack. All right, come on, boys. Oh, there's one there, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, okay, first part done. Nobody seems to have dropped where they were supposed to. I haven't seen anyone from my unit yet, but luckily I've hooked up with some of the guys from Baker Company. We also have men from Able Dog and Fox Companies with us. What a mess. Eh. We're getting ready to capture the village of St. Mary Eglise, about five miles from Utah Beach. We're approaching through the narrow field with minefields on each side. Oh, joy. Captain Foley says there are two platoons of German paratroopers in the village. I'd say we've got a serious fight ahead of us. Uh, the roads to St. Mary Eglise connect to the Utah beach to the main highway of the peninsula which should put us right in the path of the most likely German counterattack. Right, okay, guys, great. On my command. Oh, loads of health there anyway. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's get in the ditch. Whoa! Beyond the cow. Line him up. Right, let's go. Ah, oh, jeez. Right, we're here. Loose, loose, loose. 
Exatamente. Stick my head out. Uh... Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Are we, are we not going to clear this place out? Oh, shite! Don't! Say don't. Right. Okay. Uh, oh. Jesus, I thought they were mine, guys. Okay. I'm not going to stick my head under. Is he? No. Where are these coming from? Bloody... Where have. Where are all my guys? There's private. Oh. There's rice. Where the hell is everyone else? Where is everyone? Jesus. Hang on, I was just with a group of guys. I cleared out the room and they bugged off. Oh, that sounds like American fire. No. Oh, there you are. There you are. Bloody hell. Whoa. Somebody else go there. Give me a shot. Can't see him. God. I get. Some grenades in there, boys. Let's get some grenades. Yeah, there we go. Got them. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm stuck. Shift right. Uh, shift right is this way. Oh, MG. MG42 there. Anyone up? Ah, oh, is that sniper? Okay. Oh. Right. Keep up the fire, boys. Come on. Headshot. Oh, somebody else came. Cover me. 
Yeah, come on, boys. Anyone in that now? Oh! Alright, Captain. Uh, yeah, there. Whoa! I got a corner. That's health there. Get him. Ah. Gotcha. God, I forgot how good this game is. Yeah, and the graphics then I know they're not great, but you know ten years ago these were superb. This was this was as authentic and as Whoa! And immersive as you can get. Ha, right, let's flank him. Shit. These boys all finished. Right. Back to Carbine. Ah. I don't know who they're shooting at. Oh, I see him. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Okay, Alright, that's one flak panzer, whatever they call him out of the way. Can we go through there? No. Alright, let's get up here. Grenade. Just got some girls. Careful, Lieutenant Nix. Those guys are going to pin them. I think we go in there, uh, flank them. They all gone? Yeah, all dead. Okay, let's charge. Fire in the hole! Oh my god! I'm stuck. Oh my god! Far away! Ah! Yeah, let's get some health. How can I? How can I couldn't jump through the window. No, I can that time. Typical. Right. Oh. Somebody there. Should I go? Oh, you you okay? You, you. Clear. But oh God, I'll give me a shot. I'll go myself then, shall I? Whoa! Whoa, hang on. Oh, 
Me and Hicks, yeah, we're, we're, we're a good little team, aren't we, Hicks? Yeah, you stay down, mate. You're not very well. Yeah, you cover my back. Alright, oh, we've got more. Alright, it's going to be on the car. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, here we go. Have a that. Sounds great, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, they all dead. Right. Far on the hole. Far on the hole. Sweet. Debrief with Captain Foley at the crossroads. Ah, okay. Looks like we've captured the uh, the village. All right, fellas, take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced. But this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them. So our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns, setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Okay, so we'll um, leave it there for this episode. We've just uh, captured St. Mare Eglise. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. I've probably butchered that, so I uh, apologise to any, uh, any French people watching. Um, so, yeah, so I'll leave it there this time. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you see you next time.